hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to continue about our search box and pagination using data table so let's get started with this so guys in previous video we have completed that how to do a pagination with the laravel thing okay and now we are going to use a plugin called data tables plugin so we will be using like search box and pagination and number of rows available in it so let's go to our data tables dot net where we have already searched with this and we are going to make something like this okay so search box will be there and show the entries where you can show in this format okay guys and now we will complete with this thing so it's simply it has shown include these two lines of files and call the single function to make a simple view in this format if you want according to your bootstrap convenient you have to go with this examples and things where you will find in more details okay so let's go to zero configuration or uh, featured enabled disabled you can just check on with this all options it's so whatever it's comfortable to you you can proceed with it right so guys um let's start with this so zero configuration provides this basic things and you can see the html css so let's copy this cdn link and include in your file laravel directory where is your this one okay so guys let's get include that first so we will not directly copy this we will store this file okay so let's hit here or else you can check uh, we have already i think we already have this data plugin thing so let's go to public assets inside assets js so inside js we'll go to add-ons you can see data table okay data tables it's over here so guys we can copy this and use this one right so if you are a new user you can just carry on with this steps only which we are going to use it okay so just create a new file and create the file and call this things data table one right okay fine uh, now we will go to our main thing that is resource views layouts inside layout we have admin admin blade okay so view this admin blade where we are going to link that these two things for the css and the js files so let's first let's include the js files so let me copy this and we will tell this as mm, we'll mention this as data not database data table js okay so let's go to our public assets js so inside js we are going to call the file called mm, this inside add-ons data table min.js so guys let's call this data tables copy it you can see let's type add-ons forward slash and data table dot min dot js file that's it so we have called the file for this and now we will call the css also so let's click on css add-ons you can see data tables dot min dot css also is there so in if you want to know about this many things select min dot css and data table 2 dot css what are these files you can just visit to the website and understand what are those so i'll just teach you how to use this data table basic things and let's get continue so guys now we have to call the css file also as per the requirements from the website so assets css inside css we will tell add-ons addons forward slash then data tables min.css 
let's copy and you have to paste it paste so guys this is the min.css file close so let's check it once before executing let me close this first okay inside css we require data table min.css this thing so we have completed here now added the file and in javascript we can see one is jquery file required which we already have and one is jquery dot data table dot min dot js so we already have that also okay so this is the jquery file which we have called and now this is the data table min dot js right yes guys so after setting this we will save the file and now let me arrange this and let's go to our resource views admin inside user we have that index blade file right so this is my table to show the output like this okay so guys now i will copy this code jquery on javascript code so let's copy this and paste it below so let me get bottom okay so let's create a section like first let us create one script tag and paste it over here good so after this um we need to make this recognize so let us go to admin where you can find um it's not there only so let's create one function i mean yield function to call the script tags whatever we write so guys let's type y i e l d yield where s c r i p t yes scripts so let me copy this and let us call these things over here so let's extend the section and inside this name just now we created the scripts so we have to include that over here copy and paste that's it guys so now over here we can just for example we will set this data table 1 okay so let's make it data table 1 the hash means id so let's copy that data table 1 and let's go to our table inside this table i am going to create an id called and paste the data table 1 simple so let's save this and execute this guys okay let me refresh the page and let's see the output whether it's working fine or not still loading cool guys so we have successfully got this okay and this is showing we have totally four datas it's showing uh, one out of three entries because of this laravel pagination right so this should not be here so for this we have to remove it okay so when you are using data table plugin that time we need to remove it otherwise it will just show you specific things so guys for that we will just get back to our controller to view the page so i'll just show you what was the error okay so because of this pagination i'll just if you are using a laravel pagination continue with this if you want to use a Mm, data table just include all and call the pages so let's reload it what's the problem link does not exist okay we need to remove that on our index page so let's go over here and this was the code which we used for the pagination in laravel so i'll just comment this and keep it okay so let's reload it back and you can find that four data are there totally and uh, now showing number of entries four out of one out of four one to four and this is the pagination next preview so if the data increases it will show you so you can set this by 10 15 50 and right okay so guys in this video that's it and uh, we have completed that how to use this uh, pagination and search box for showing this view and sorting this using data table so guys if you want more like in this you want to keep a placeholder search option 
that time you can uh, check with this plugin and you can set the many things over here okay in further videos i'll be explaining how to use this in detail and in this video that's it guys and we'll continue with next video about the laravel e-commerce project so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share